Hello, art students. I'm Ms. Morris, and today we will paint on canvas board with acrylic paint. The title of this painting is called Taco Crabs. Materials needed for this lesson are 11 by 14 inch canvas board. So you can find this at any Michael's Arts and Crafts store or Amazon.com. It's very inexpensive. And so you will need an 11 by 14 inch canvas board. You will also need, because we're painting, you will need a cup of water and two paint brushes. Now the paint brushes we will use for this painting are a medium to large flat brush like so. Also you will need a small round brush. Now mine has a little curved point at the end for some reason. I think I use it so much that it's starting to wear on me. But that's what you'll need, a small round brush for details. You will also need acrylic paint in these colors. So let's go over the colors. You will need red, light blue, a medium blue, which is just a regular blue, or you can, if you're in the arts and crafts store and you see a cerulean blue or a cobalt blue, this is a cobalt blue, but either one works just fine. You will also need a little bit of green, brown, and black. These are both black. I use one for mixing. You will also need white. So let's go over those again. Red, light blue, medium blue, white, black, brown, and green. Now, if you do not have light blue at home, you can always mix white and blue together and it will create a lighter blue. And you just keep mixing each until you find the desired um, light blue that you, you, you like, okay? So it's very simple, just mix white and blue together. You'll mix these two together to make this, okay? All right, so let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is we're gonna create our background. Now taking your large flat brush, you're going to go, and let me bring the paint over so you can see. You're going to go into your medium blue, which is a cobalt blue, cerulean blue, whatever darker blue that you have. And you're just gonna create like this wavy base right here. Just like that. Got it? And you're going to paint the whole upper portion above that line you just made blue. Now what you're going to do is you're going to mix your blue, medium blue with your light blue as you paint. So I'm going to pick up light blue as well without washing off my brush. And it creates this really nice blend. So right now we're just creating our ocean water. Just like that. Keep going until your whole upper portion is completely painted. Now I'm using horizontal strokes because that's the way in which I want the water to be laid in. 
and you feel there's some spots where you want to add a little bit of dark, a little bit of light, just keep going over it and blending those colors right in. Now you don't want the paint on your canvas to be so thick that it takes forever to dry. So take that brush and thin it down as much as you can, but make sure it's completely painted over, okay? Okay, I think I got this. Looking good. Now what you're going to do is you're gonna clean your brush Dab off the excess water. You're gonna go into your white. And you're just gonna create some of these white streaks like this. Just a little bit, you don't need a whole lot. We wanna keep the water very blue. Just like that. Really good. Okay. I think we're done with that. Okay, now you're gonna clean your brush. I'm gonna finish the background by drawing, I should say, sorry, painting, <laughs> painting the ocean bottom, which is the sand at the, ocean, at the bottom of the ocean. So you're gonna go straight into your brown. And my brown is a more of a sepia color than an actual dark brown. But if you have dark brown at home, you can always mix it with white and it will become a very nice light beige color depending on how much white you mix with it. So you can always create a lighter brown if you only have dark brown at home, okay? So I don't really want to go over my blue. I want to come close to it, but not go over it. Trying to create a seamless line. Here we go. And once you have this all painted with brown at the bottom, you are going to make this sand much lighter. You're gonna clean your brush. Dab off the excess water, go into your white paint, just like we did with the water here. You're going to lighten up that brown with the white. So you're gonna go over the whole thing with white and remember, you don't want your paint to be really, really thick. So make sure you're adding that, that paint color, but you're smoothing it out so that it's not so thick on your um, canvas. 
you want it to dry in a fair amount of time. Okay. Looks good. Okay, so now that we have our background painted in, what we're going to do now, if you have a hair blow dryer at home, you're going to just go over your paint, your painting to dry it as fast as you can. It usually will take about five minutes. If not, you can wait for it to dry. It'll take about 15 minutes, depending on how much paint you use. So please make sure again that you didn't put too much paint on your um, canvas because that means it'll take much longer to dry, okay? So at this point, I'm gonna pause the tape and we'll be right back while I wait for mine to dry. Okay, we're back. I use my blow dryer to blow dry my canvas and it didn't take long at all. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to lay in some more of our background. We're just going to paint in our sea foliage, like our seaweed. I'm gonna take our small round brush and we're going to create like these seaweed like plants at the bottom of the sea. And they're really, really easy. You're just going to start here Make a wavy line going up. And you're gonna sprout off, make another wavy line, just like that. Very easy. You do it the way you like. Because crabs, they they live at the bottom of the sea, the sea floor. And just keep making your, your sea plants like this. You'll come over here and you'll draw, I mean, paint one more, just like you did the first one. And if your green is too dark, you can always add just a little bit of white and make that green lighter. Nice. If you feel that your paint is becoming a little too tacky, you can always dip your brush in water and it makes the paint nice and fluid again and easier to paint. So it feels like your paint is paintbrush, the paint on your paintbrush is becoming a little too dry, that's what you'll do. Simply dip it in water a little bit. If you have too much on your brush, you can always tap it off.
Here we go. I think we have it. Okay, good. And you only need about two. One on the left side, one on the right side. Now you can put your brush in water and clean that off. Okay. The next thing you're going to do is we're going to paint our crabs now, our taco crabs. So with painting our taco crabs, we are going to use our small round brush. And it's really easy. If you know what a taco looks like, it's what they're going to be the shape of a taco. So we're going to draw two, one on the left, one on, one on the left, one on the right. And we're going to put our paintbrush right into the red. And we're going to start with the one on the right. And you're gonna make like, almost like if you were making like a rainbow, painting right over that um, plant that we just planted. And you wanna make sure that your paint, it doesn't have to be completely dry, but mostly dry, okay? Before you start your tacos. I think that's good right there. Just like that. And then you're gonna draw a straight line at the bottom, almost like a dome. That's what this shape is called. And you're gonna paint the whole inside, the whole, taco crab red. Let's go over that nicely with the red, painting right over some of your background. Good job. Now, if you can see your red, I mean your background through your red, what you're going to do is you're just going to add the one color, the one layer first, and then you can always go back and paint over it and make that um, crab very uh, a lot more solid in color, more opaque. But you're going to let the first layer dry if you need to, okay? Because you don't want the paint, you want you don't want to put so much paint on it that it takes a really long time to dry. Okay. So now that we're done with our first cra crab here, we're going to make another taco shape here. Now I might I'm thinking I'm going to make this one a little smaller. So right here. I'm going to make this one a little smaller than the first one. Remember, painting your dome shape. Keep going, you're doing a great job. I know you're doing a great job at home. This is really easy.
And after we complete this one, we're going to then start on the features of the crab, like his legs, his claws. Okay, awesome. Okay, so both of them should definitely be wet. But right now we're gonna keep adding on their features like their claws and their little legs, and it's really easy. You're gonna to come to the side of the top taco crab, and you're gonna their arms are gonna be kind of like in the air. So you're gonna draw one little small line here, one little small line like here, like just like this. And at the end of each, you're gonna draw like a C shape. And then you're gonna kind of repeat mirror that same shape on the other side like this. See that? Very easy. Now you're just going to thicken up that line just like that. Very easy. Again, C shape, and then mirror the image on the other side. Remember to thicken up those claws. Okay, just like that. Now on the sides, you're gonna make these little lines and you're gonna make three on each side and they go just like this. Nothing too difficult, just like that. Easy. We're not done yet. Okay. So here, we're gonna do the same thing with the, um, with the claws and come up. Cause they're ready to just catch whatever they can eat in the, in the ocean and get it in its grasps, in those strong claws of theirs. And the same thing with the claws here. There we go, just like that. Now let's make the rest of them. Okay. Now, if you don't seal your legs, it's fine. We're going to redefine them with, with some black. Don't worry about that just yet.
Good job. Okay, you can put your brush into the water. And at this point, you'll, if you have to do a second coat over your taco crabs, that's fine. Pause your tape and you can do that. Um, I'm going to allow this to dry and then we'll finish up, okay? Okay, we are almost done with our crabs and we're gonna put in some details, okay? Using your round brush, make sure it's nice and clean. You're going to go into black. And you're gonna just kind of outline some of the, the crabs. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna come around the um, claws. And I'm not gonna outline everything, but just certain areas. So you can just follow my lead. And this will just help define the crab. Remember, if your brush gets a little too tacky, just put it in water. So now I'm just bringing on a little more detail to our little friends here. Just like that. It's almost like his shape started to kind of come alive, right? Some on the bottom. Just like that. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Bring your brush and water back into the black. Awesome. Okay. Now you're going to clean your brush. We're going to create the crab's eyes. And they're really close together. You're going to take your small round brush. You're going to go right into white. And you're going to paint two circles at the top of the crab's head, the very, very top, just like this. Not too, too big. And your second eye is gonna be so close that it touches the first circle. And you're gonna make that one just a tiny bit bigger. Okay, just like what you see I'm doing here. Just like that, easy.
And you're gonna do the same thing here. So I'm gonna make this eye a little bigger first. Just like that. Cute. Okay, while we wait for that to dry, we're gonna create these bubbles going up. Do you ever see crabs? They give off a lot of bubbles. So, we're gonna start with some small ones alternate some bigger ones, and they're just gonna kind of float up to the surface like this, okay? Just like that. Keep going. There you go, nice. And on the other side. Right above this crab's head. Sorry about that. Ooh, nice. <laughs> okay, I think that's good. No, one more. Good. Okay, so now that I have white still on my um, brown brush. I'm just going to go in and brush in some more highlights into our crab. So I'm going to come to the claw here. Just do a little highlight there. Just like that. Maybe a little here. One there. Kind of going over where that black line was here. Some on the bottom. 
just like that. Just like that. Okay, pretty good. Now you're gonna clean off your brush and we're gonna complete this by placing in the taco crab's eyes. You're gonna go into your black with your small round brush. And I want to place this one close to the center. I want him to look like very silly. And this one I want to place right kind of like on top of that eye on the side, very close like this. Just like that, <laughs> cute. In this one, I'm going to make a little cross-eyed. Just like that. And I think we're done. Well, not, hold on, one second. One small detail. I didn't add too much white into the sand. So when we were doing all that highlighting, we were supposed to place some into the sand. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna take our round brush, go into the white, and just brush in some details like that. Then go into your brown. And brush in some brown like that, much better. Oh, yeah. Now we're done. Okay, so there you have it. This is your Taco Crabs acrylic painting on canvas board. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's been so much fun this uh, summer camp season. Um, and I hope you really, you guys really love the lessons. I had fun. I hope you did too. <laughs> um, until next time, have a great one. Enjoy the rest of your summer students. And um, if you finish this lesson. I would love to see it. Please inbox me. Um, you all have my number on the website. Um, and have a great summer. Can't wait to see you guys this coming school year. Bye.